Hey, 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 what is good YouTube? It's your boy Diesel from Shades and Souls. If you guys haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button to support the channel and help the channel grow. And if you want to be notified for new videos such as this, hit that bell button as well. Alright guys, obviously we're, we have the Dame 6. This is the last shoe. This is the last marquee shoe I was waiting on for the year for me to get started and evaluate what the best shoe of the year is uh, for the year of 2019. Now that we have them, 1127, November 27, now that we have them in hand, let's see what the shoe is all about. Uh, I wouldn't be able to get my performance review out to like maybe two weeks after this, but we'll see. So price at 110, size eight, that is a half size down to my true to size, which is an eight half. And I hope I got the right size. You know Adidas, right? You know, you know. So box tag reads, C black, C black short, noise, noise. Rucho, I don't even know man. If you guys know how to pronounce that, that's on you. Box looks different. Two faced. Two faced. Dame six written all over. Dame six. Dame six. Let's see what's on the bottom. Two faced. There you go. That is the overall theme for the Dame Six. This is my first time looking at it together with you guys, and here we go. Okay, okay. All right, let's see the other pair. All right. Nothing else, nothing else in there. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are interested with the carbon paper, but here you go. Adidas and Dame's uh, logo. All right, time for the shoes. Time for the shoes. This will be just a material overview. Something in there? No. Okay. Let me uh, take that paper out. Give me one quick second, guys. All right. All right. We're done with the bullshit. Okay. We're done with the bullshit. I'm I'm gonna go through this together with you guys. So bear with me. Traction. It's translucent, but I'm not losing hope because Adidas has a good track record of translucent outsoles. Okay? Now, what I love about these is that they are thick grooved and they are far spaced apart. So, usually, that turns out to be good traction usually am I saying this is gonna be good traction I don't know we will see all right traction is herringbone from top to bottom from forefoot to the heel a subtle adidas symbol right there before I forget this is the ruthless colorway all right materials So the lateral panel of this is a mesh. You can see that a subtle Adidas symbol and overlaying that mesh is, damn, that's some good ass quality suede, man. Like look, look at that suede material. It's it's really it's really good quality. Like when you touch it, it's even it's even on top of the freaking midsole, bro. So this is part of the midsole. Obviously, this is a midsole, and this is a midsole too. Covering that midsole is also the suede suede overlay. Get that dirt out. Ah, uh, all right. Before I forget. The cushion for these is not bounce anymore. It's light strike, okay? Light strike. So it's a 
it's a softer it's softer than bounce um not as responsive as bounce but lighter than bounce i don't know if that makes sense to you but again this is softer than bounce and lighter than bounce not as responsive as bounce and that is in my opinion and from what i have felt so far with light strike i don't know about you guys but that's my assessment of light strike so far i've tried light strike on the next levels and the hardened force and that's all i can say about light strike on these i don't know we'll have to see so we already done with the traction the midsole the side panel being mesh now adidas is calling this like a textile upper but let me see so underneath it it doesn't feel like a neoprene at all well on the forefoot on the forefoot portion you feel like there's neoprene and then this material right here this mesh material so this screen mesh is actually harder has like a harder finish see that than this mesh right here this is textile mesh this is like a screen mesh right here so when I was saying earlier on the forefoot inside the shoe together with this uh, to the lateral panel right here and to the medial panel there's neoprene Yes, as you can see, I was correct. There was neoprene in there, but on the tongue, it's just straight neoprene, and for some reason, it's kind of softer in the tongue. So there is structure right here. There's a structure right here, and I think that's just from the tailoring, where this was, this portion is a little bit harder than the tongue. The tongue is really soft all the way up here this is even softer like this portion this portion right here it's even softer like there's flimsy it's flimsy soft right right there Achilles pillows you can see all right so if you guys don't know this this shoe references there's a reason why there's a half color and an, another half color it's because it's trying to reference um, Dame as a leader per se or in other words his persona on and off the court the, the lacing let me see so it's flat laces plastic tips it's got that webbing thing same same as with the uh, Don issue ones so I'm gonna put this on foot so I can tell you guys uh, the fit on the shoe but I'm afraid I won't do any on foot house is too messy right now getting ready for Thanksgiving but I may go to the gym later tonight so if you guys want um, on foot pictures on these um, please make sure to follow me on Instagram give me one second all right, so I, I was trying to fit the shoe, right? So I wanted to fit it all the way up here, but I have to show you guys this one because I can't make this shit up, bro. So I was trying to, it's kind of showing right now, but earlier, like you can't even see this hole right here. Like, look, that's not even, look at that. that there's not even a hole still, all right? Now let me, let, let me do that from the other side. All right, so just like so that I can just tell you the the sizing of this. Okay, guys, so I have done the fitting. This I already went down half a size with this, and take this as it is. I was wearing regular socks. I am not wearing cushioned socks. Okay, regular socks, not cushioned socks. I already went down half a size and I think I have like a half inch right here but everything else from except for that portion everything else from here to here fits really good when I wear when I'm gonna wear this I'm gonna wear cushioned socks just to compensate for that space 
and uh, I have to tell you guys the lacing minus minus that hiccup I was telling you that no hole on the top um, lace area the lacing freaking works man so when you when you cinch up the laces the webbings they work they they really clasp or close out that area like the support on these ones may look minimal but it's very effective okay and that's just from try on so it's not performance review yet also the heel pillows they're in the correct spot and there is actually a very sturdy heel counter here like you won't feel it from the outside because it's textile and this there's foam um, in between the heel counter and that material of the textile like there's foam in between but from the inside you could feel that another thing don't go wearing no show socks or low low cut socks the reason being this one and just from trying it on I feel like this will kind of hit the upper portion of your Achilles or a little higher on the Achilles so that might irritate some people but if you don't mind that then go ahead and yeah um, if I had a choice um, I would like to try a full size down just cuz I personally like my shoe and my toes to be like at the tip of the forefoot but we'll try this with cushion socks and we'll see how it goes how does it feel it feels really light and I jumped around with this looking stupid um, the cushion is there I, I know it looks minimal but I would tell you the forefoot cushion is better than the hardens just from initial try on the hardens I had an issue with cushion how does your foot feel inside the shoe it feels like if you didn't like the Dawn issue once like I did like I didn't like the Dawn issue once I'll be honest it feel it felt clunky it felt heavy and all that this doesn't have that it feels like a, a Dawn issue one but everything I hated with the Dawn issue one is not felt here the fit feels the same but the feel of the shoe is different that's what I can compare this with and also it's just overall less bulky and it's light strike I think the Dawn issue one was bounce and that's why it was kind of heavy this one is light strike so I guess that's a contributing factor and if I didn't even discuss this portion right here there you go um, I think this is made out of what is this some textile some neoprene material and some rubberized paint that's about it yeah but like I said this might irritate some people so hold up hold up wait a minute all right before I forget because I know there's always that one person there's an there's a patch right here for you toe draggers I don't even know how you're gonna toe drag this or whatever man like you gotta be like you gotta be like I don't know man but just in case somebody tells me bro you forgot about that there you have it all right for your toe draggers right there suede panel and before I forget happy Thanksgiving to everybody yeah there you have it your first look at the dame sixes if you guys want an on foot picture on this make sure to follow me on my IG sometime soon I'm pretty sure I'll be wearing this and I'll be playing with this and I'll be posting pictures over there thank you guys for watching as always thank you for your support and I will see you guys soon. It's your boy Dizo signing off. Peace out.